Hi again everybody. So today we're going to have a go at making a bird feeder. Now you might think it's a bit of a strange time of year to be making a bird feeder. Most people think about feeding the birds in the winter. However, it's really important when you can to try and feed the birds all year round, especially at this time of year when they're busy building nests and looking for nesting materials and trying to find a mate. They're using a lot of energy, so it's really good if you can feed them and help them out. It's also a really great way to encourage birds into your garden so that you can watch them, which um, is a really enjoyable thing to do. Okay, so obviously a lot of us are stuck at home at the moment, so I'm going to try and make a bird feeder using what you might have already lying around in your house or garden. So first of all, we need a base for our bird feeder. Now the favourite thing that I like to use is these. So these are pine cones. I found them when I was on my daily walk yesterday. Um, and pine cones are pretty amazing. They're really good for lots of things, including crafts. Um, but they're actually the seed of a pine tree. Um, so if you get open them up and give them a bit of a shake, you might see that there's seeds that start to fall out. So this one here. So some birds and animals actually like to eat pine cones because they've already got seeds in them. And some of them have specially adapted beaks to help them fish the seeds out of these cracks. You might also notice with pine cones that sometimes you find them and they're really tightly shut. Um, and other times they're nice and open like this. So they actually open up as they're dry, when they get dry and when they're in the sun and they're nice and warm and as they open up the seeds will fall out. So sometimes you might find them and they'll be really closed but when you put, take them home and put them somewhere warm you'll find they open up lovely into this sort of shape. So the first thing we're going to do with our pine cone is tie some string onto it. Now if you don't have any pine cones there's other things you might have at home that you can use for this. Um, so you could use maybe an old yogurt pot and I've just made a, a hole in the top here and made sure it's nice and clean and then you can tie some string through the top of that and hang that up. Um, you could even, if you've got any apples that are a bit past their best, you could even hollow out the middle of the apple very carefully, ask an adult to help you with this, and then you could hang that up and fill this with our, our bird seed mix. Some people also use mugs actually and then you can hang them up by the handle and they're nice and easy to wash and you can use them over and over again. But I'm going to use a pine cone to start with. So the first thing we're going to do is tie our string onto it. Now it's a really good idea to do this first before you add any messy stuff onto it because then it makes it really tricky. So I'm just going to make a bit of a loop, pop it round the bottom of my pine cone and pull it nice and tight. And then when I'm finished I can hang that up in the tree or on the bird feeder and uh, hopefully the birds will come down and feed from that. Okay so once we've got our base we need something sticky to make our seeds and whatever else we're going to add on our bird feeder stick to it. So probably the best thing to use is this. So this is lard. Now lard is a type of animal fat. It's a saturated fat and you might be used to hearing saturated fats as being a bad thing um, but they might not be so good for us in some instances because they might make us put on weight but for birds they're really important because they've got lots and lots of energy um, so it's really good to use lard. Um, if you try and use things like margarine, which is, comes from vegetables, so that's an unsaturated fat, it can be really greasy and quite um, soft, and that's not very good for the birds, because if you get it stuck in their feathers, it'll make them really greasy and they might stick together and they might not be able to fly. So don't use margarine. If you can, use lard. Um, if you haven't got any lard, something else you might be able to use is peanut butter, because that's quite sticky, but you must make sure that it doesn't have any added salt and sugar in it, um, because birds can't process salt, so if you put extra salt in there, they can make them really poorly. So if you do use peanut butter, make sure it's the natural stuff with no added salt or sugar. Okay, so what I've done here is I've got some lard and I've mashed it up and given it a good stir so that it's nice and soft. Now you'll notice I've got a tablecloth on today um, because this activity can get a bit messy. So if you're going to do this, please do make sure you're doing it somewhere. It doesn't matter if you get a bit of mess on the floor or on the table. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some of this lard and I'm going to smear it onto the outside of my pine cone. Now if you like getting messy you can use your hands to do this and squidge it into all of those gaps. So I'm going to use a spoon to start with and I might go in with my hands in a minute. And you need to make sure you've filled all of those little gaps in between the pine cone bits. So when it's mostly covered you can kind of use your hands and your fingers and squidge it all in. It actually makes your hands really soft doing this. Not everybody likes getting their hands dirty. So you squidge it all in so it's all nice and covered. Looks a bit like a snowball. Okay, 
So now it's all covered in the lard, what we can do now is to dip it into whatever we want to feed the birds. So the birds will eat the lard because it's got lots of energy in it, um, but the, the lard is also going to help us to stick other things on. Now if you already feed the birds, you might have some bird seed already. So you can certainly use that. I've got a mixture of bird seed and sunflower hearts in there. Um, other things you can use if you don't have bird seed, you might have some porridge oats. So birds really like those. Um, so we can certainly put some of those on. Um, you might have some dried fruit like currants or raisins. So birds will like to eat those, particularly blackbirds. Um, I've also got an apple here, which has gone a bit past it. So I've chopped up some little bits of that. So some birds will eat, like to eat the fruit. And also things like cheese. I've got some cheese here, which is a bit past its best. So I've grated that up. I'm going to put a bit of cheese on there. Robins really like cheese. And uh, finally, I've got some mealworms here, which are what I feed to my chickens. And um, lots of birds will really like to eat mealworms because, again, they've got lots of energy. And uh, lots of the garden birds are actually insectivores, so insects are really, really good for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip my pine cone into each of these different things. So I'll start with the seed. I'll dip it in and you'll see that the seed starts to stick to the fat. So when it's done doing that, you can give it a bit of a squeeze so it sticks nice and firm. Then you can dip it into the next thing. So I'm going to dip it into these oats so they start to stick. And then I might dip it into a bit of cheese for our robin. Give it a good squeeze. You might want to sprinkle some on as well. So all of these things the birds are going to absolutely love. And then we've got some raisins and currants. We could squish a few of those in. A bit of our apple. Last but not least, I'm going to put a few mealworms on here because I know how much the birds will like those. And the school will give them a good squish in, a little crunch in there. And then if you've got any lard that you can still see, what I tend to do is I put it back into the seed and I completely cover it. And I keep giving it a good squish so that all of those bits of lard are completely covered with all of these goodies for the birds. That's it. And then when you've finished, you'll end up with your bird feeder, which you can then tie when you've cleaned your hands. I did warn you it was going to be a bit messy, <laughs> but the birds will really thank you for it. And then you can go and hang it on either a branch, or maybe if you've got a tree in your garden, or on a hook. I'm going to go and put it on my bird feeding station over here. go and then you can watch and see which birds will come back and um, have a feed from your feeder and what I'll do is I'll upload a, a identification sheet so you can then um, see if you can identify which birds come and visit. Um, just to note um, one thing that you shouldn't use um, on your feeder is whole peanuts so although peanuts are really good for the birds um, if you feed them whole like this birds can choke on them especially those young birds at this time of year so please don't use whole peanuts if you want to crush them up into little tiny pieces then they should be okay um, but don't use them whole if you are using a yogurt pot or a, an apple you're going to fill something with your um, seed and lard what I would do is rather than just filling that with lard and then sticking things into it I'd actually mix all of these ingredients in with your lard first so you've got a nice sticky mixture and then just use your spoon to sort of wedge it into your cup um, so it's got a seed all the way through, not just on the front. Okay, so that is how you can make your own bird feeder. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. All right, bye.